Hi guys, welcome back to another video with a new state, new reasons, new information, and new facts about what makes this state so special, unique, and it hopefully might raise some eyebrows and encourage you to consider this state for your future education in the United States. So let's get started. Let's talk about Alabama, sweet home Alabama, and why hopefully it's a great university to consider for your university studies. Now, let me start by saying that I understand, I know uh, it's very well documented and understood the bad rep, the bad reputation that Alabama has. It is a member of what's considered the Bible Belt states. It is very much linked to religion to this day. That is nothing um, that I'm trying to hide or anything that you should not be aware of. It is a very prominent uh, feature of this state and we'll see some examples of that later on in this video. But that's a very simplistic approach to what this state um, actually is in today's society. Now, let's start by looking back. Let's look at the history, the heritage, and some of the cool things about the state of Alabama. And for starters, it was predominantly agricultural uh, up until the 60s, 70s, more and less. And that's basically where its economy thrived, right? But since then, it's very much diversified its representation across the sectors of economic growth. So you can find a very strong economy, and we'll look at some numbers down the road as well, but we can find a strong economy in the areas of financial uh, technology, fine tech. You can find great um, healthcare services, medical developments happening as well. The startup scene, specifically in Birmingham, we'll look at that again down the road. Uh, very big economy there. Um, the Also manufacturing is very, very prominent in Alabama. So overall, you've seen a huge growth and it's ranked pretty, you know, on the top when it comes to the, uh, the GDP of the state. In 2016, I believe, it was roughly $264 billion in GDP. So again, a very strong economy, uh, which is not something that maybe you think of uh, when you think of Alabama and maybe that more traditional view of agricultural economy, right? So that's the first thing to keep in mind. The second thing to keep in mind would be its historical heritage. It has a very strong presence in the social um, development and growth and change when it comes to racial uh, equalities or inequalities and the movement of specifically African Americans in the United States. Rosa Parks, for example, ha uh, is from uh, was from Alabama and the start of the movement happened in Montgomery. So you have a strong um, historical presence along these, not just in Alabama, but along these Bible Belt states, which will which will bring a very strong cultured uh, population, uh, which again might influence the uniqueness of this state when you compare it, for example, with California, a much later state, which doesn't maybe have that richness, that development, or even those racial struggles that. Um, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee have and had uh, to go through to reach where they are today in today's society. Number three is the cost of life. I think you have to stop and ponder about your uh, economic stability. And Alabama, for example, offers a great uh, cost of attendance, great cost of life. Their housing um, prices, for example, are way below the national average. Uh, but you still get a pretty a steady growth when it comes to household income over the last decade. So it's a con con constant growth when it comes to the, the income per family that has a very stable housing market, which again, as I mentioned, is below the national average. So it's a great, it has been a great place for uh, young families that want to start a family in Alabama, the, the, the four or five major cities that are represented within the borders of Alabama have completely um, revamped, I guess, their social structures and their their um, deliverance when it comes to education, fun, festivities, uh, the entertainment sector, the cuisine as well. 
Uh, so you can expect to see a thriving community. And I think that ties in very well with the, um, you know, the, the welcoming spirit of these Bible Belt states. That is one thing that they're very well known for, which is their hospitality. And you can see that very, very well with the community ties and how close knit this community is. But now let's go into education. What makes, makes the educational system in Alabama uh, some, somewhat special, somewhat unique? Well, first and foremost, I would say the college, college spirit is very strong in Alabama. They have 50 universities and colleges, more or less, in total, and all of them have a very strong sense of belonging, a strong sense of uh, being a member of that, let's call it, that society. So, for example, Auburn University in Alabama has a very strong uh, football heritage that is one of the main drivers. The spirit of the college is reflected in these games. Any game is packed with tens of thousands of spect uh, spe spectators, so you can expect to go to these games and just be surrounded by a very unique atmosphere. The University of, of Alabama is one of the bigger employers of the state, but also one of the biggest colleges with roughly 40 to 50,000 students. And again, you're gonna find a very strong sense of community, of belonging, and that college uh, football experience that is just unique to any, pretty much any other state. It's very, very well um, known and regarded as a football college. So if you're into sports, if you're into football specifically, as well as perhaps baseball, uh, I recommend Alabama as a state of interest. Now, when it comes to the actual degrees in these universities, you can expect to see a wide variety, ranging from, for example, forestry or marine biology with their more or less 60 miles of coast in the south, um, all the way to medical professions, uh, technological professions, engineering has become a very big hub. For example, the University of Alabama at Birmingham is a very strong engineering department. You find business programs as well geared and leaning towards the tech industry with the startup scene also very you know, prominent in the University at Birmingham, as I mentioned before. Uh, this university in particular, I'm very, very surprised and I'm very uh, pleased to see what they're doing. They're doing something a little bit different. They're meshing, they're moving uh, two programs uh, in alignment and more or less together. So the engineering department and their master's program specifically has to take uh, some financial classes and business classes because it has become that startup scene, as I mentioned before. A lot of ex-students have gone out to fund and start their own companies. So they've started pulling in business classes with this engineering masters to help facilitate that future endeavor. And they've seen great success in it. It has become a little hub for the startup scene. If you compare it to Colorado, Boulder, for example, or even the city of Chicago, uh, it, it's not as big, that is true, but it has its own little place and it's doing something very special and very unique. And I think that's the contrast that you're gonna find in Alabama. I don't want people to just reject it because they see the side of the coin that they don't like. If you flip the side of that coin, you're gonna find a lot of very cool things happening in this state. Now when it comes to fun outside of the classroom, again, you have diversity. Not only within the Alabama state borders with the 60 miles of coast I mentioned in the south, with the mountain ranges in the north, with plains and fields in the midlands, you have pretty much uh, 20, more than 20 um, state parks to visit and hike around. You have biking, you have canoeing, you have one of the most elaborate canal systems in the United States as well. If you're into to engineering and understanding a little bit more about that, I encourage you to check it out. You also have uh, what comes with the bordering states, with the neighboring states. You have Florida in the south, you have Tennessee, you have Georgia. Uh, you have Mississippi as well in the in, in, you know, nearby states. So you're surrounded with a very nice, um, I would say, niche of, of um, the climate and the geography. So expect to be very entertained outdoor wise. But then when it comes to the culinary arts, Alabama, uh, you know, New Orleans, all of these um, 
southern states are very well known for their unique cuisine and how they've meshed the different cultural heritages that you've seen uh, uh, you know kind of integrating within each other so you do have a very prominent uh, place on the table and then when it comes to the entertainment industry they're very big on festivals they're very big on live music events because the musical tradition in these states and i'm just going to say all of the states in the south is very very strong um, you know country music blues jazz a little bit of everything is kind of meshed together uh, in the state of Alabama and neighboring southern states as well. So festivals, for example, live concerts, you're going to see a lot of them. And you basically can't uh, not go to one of these festivals or live music concerts across the year. Because weather-wise as well, you're going to find stable weather more or less when it comes to the temperatures, warmer temperatures than the other northern states, for example. Uh, but you will have a subtropical climate, for example. So you will have sporadic downpours followed by very sunny skies. So you can expect to see a little bit of an erratic uh, climate when it comes to downpours, rain, etc. And to finish this video, as I said at the beginning, I wanted to share a few um, social differences, I guess, or unique aspects of this social experience in Alabama that you might want to prepare for before you actually make it to your campus. For example, on Sundays, a lot of shops, stores, and businesses will close down because they are um, in a religious service, Sunday service, for example. So you can't really get much done on a Sunday in Alabama because these shops do close down. So again, I want to share Alabama as a positive state. It has a lot of pros to it. It has a great uh, education system. Great universities are located in Alabama in the top 100 ranking. For example, you can find several universities in that ranking. Well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I wanted to paint a very honest, open, but clear picture of why Alabama might be a great place for you to study. If you've liked any of this content and you want to learn more about how to study in Alabama, then please follow the link in the description below and get a free consultation on how ePro360 can help your dream of studying in the US become a reality. Go visit us on our webpage and schedule that free consultation. Finally, if you've liked this content and you wanna see more states, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more content.